Hey y'all, we're the Abrahams. I'm Baja. I'm Rachel. And we got two little ones, Connor and Levi. Yeah, and yeah. we used to live in Dallas, Texas. What? <laughs> and we decided to be an expat. Expat life for life. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to go to Crete, Greece. And then we changed plans and we decided to go... To Cairo, Egypt. So now we've been in Cairo, Egypt for four months. Wow. It has gone by really, really fast. I don't know how four months just went... Right. <laughs> so the reason we left the U.S. Mm, so many reasons, but we'll just get it break it down to the three main reasons, and it would be safety. Safety. Number one, we we're so terrified to send our kids to school. Yeah, we had pulled them out of school. They became homeschool kids, or the oldest one. And then, uh, you know, like we we're worried about like going to the malls or the movie theaters yeah, and the grocery or, stores. Shoot, anywhere. It's like if there's something. It's bad. So we just worried about like some something crazy happen. Uh, so we decided to. That's one of the reasons we decided to leave the U.S. Uh, reason number two would be uh, uh, inflation, money. It's uh, life in America uh, has gotten really hard. I, the American dream is getting harder and harder to achieve. We're hardworking people, and uh, it's like we hit like the hard mode, and we couldn't we couldn't catch up. It's it felt like you're, you're carrying a big bag, and then the bag has a hole, <laughs> and no matter how much you fill it, <laughs> it's, it's never sick. enough. Yeah. It, it's just draining. For sure. So. Also, I wanted to spend time with my kids. Feels like in the, in the U.S. is like life is about work, business, money. It's, it's, it's like a hamster wheel. You get just a few hours after school to see the kids. And, and those two hours or three hours, you're tired. You and know? the kids are grumpy. I'm tired. And so it's, 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 I can't enjoy it. So we decided to leave the U.S., go somewhere else, mm -hmm. that we can have quality life and quality time together. For sure. And then reason number three? Uh, reason number three is we would like to have our kids experience how the world looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, not just looking at it through a lens or TV. Uh, I want them to be culturally uh, experienced with everywhere. For sure. He's Egyptian. We want them to experience their half Egyptian, so we want them to experience their culture. We also want them to be experiencing other cultures. There's other places all over the world, and right. they need to know what's out there. Sometimes when you live in the States, it feels like you're in this little bubble, and you think everywhere else in the States is scary. Yep, 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 yep. So those are the three reasons. So we've been here in Cairo for four months now. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as we arrived in Cairo, Egypt, we got a flu or a cold or COVID. I don't know what it is. It was the most awful sickness we had ever had. And uh, man, it knocked us out for about a month. It took and a month for us to be able to stand on our feet and get back to normal. Oh, for sure. And then it was like, you know, we're still trying to figure out stuff and where to go and what to do. So it was just like a, a long period. And then Ramadan came. So we recovered, and then Ramadan, and then now we're just getting really back into the swing of things. Yes, so here we are. We're back, and I'm very excited to share our stories and our, uh, you know... Experiences, uh, for experience sure. and adventures with you oh guys. Oh, my goodness. So in good old Texas, we kind of did food reviews, but now we're going to kind of switch it up. There still will be some videos that will be focused on street food or a certain cuisine in Egypt or whatever country we're in. What can you do and what cannot do in Egypt? Mm -hmm. uh, also, we're going to talk about uh, what kind of SIM card once you arrive here, what are the companies, are they in Egypt, and uh, which one is the best, and how much are the lines, and all this good stuff. So we're planning to give you like an overview of what you need to know when you come to Egypt as a tourist, mm -hmm. what you could use uh, if you're going to stay a little longer than the average tourist, the different cities. Right now we're, we're located in Cairo and then, you know, we'll explore Alexandria and Luxor and Aswan and all the different kind of, like cities and show you what Egypt has to offer. Absolutely. And then after Egypt, we're going to go to other countries, you know, so then there's the same kind of content, but and follow us on our other social platforms. We have yeah. make, make sure to follow us on all the platforms, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I will I will write the we'll link it somewhere. the link is somewhere here and there somewhere here. <laughs> we'll see you guys next episode. Bye. Bye.